So we are so excited to have Dash in the marketplace. And you know, it was developed from uh, the research that we gathered from our more than 150,000 patients that are on the market today. But most notably, it comes with a touch screen display that controls the pod. Again, Omnipod is a patch pump that delivers three days of nonstop insulin. And patients will control that from a smartphone that is locked down. And so it's an Android device. But the most significant thing I think that happened with Dash is that we we introduce Bluetooth technology, and that opens up a host of possibilities of what we can do with the technology. So for instance, we will release a few applications that users can have and download on their iPhone. One of those will allow them to turn their iPhone almost into an Omnipod PDM, so they'll be able to see some of the same information that they get from their Omnipod PDM, but on their iPhone. The other thing is for caretakers, uh, we will release an app that's called the View app. So as uh, type one patients, type two patients are somewhere, imagine your child is at school and you want to understand what's going on with their insulin levels with their pump, you'll be able to view that from an application on your phone. So it's very exciting. It's a tremendous upgrade from the current Omnipod, which is already a fantastic product and we just could be more uh, excited about it. With Dash, we, we weren't just looking at innovation with the product, but we were also looking at the channel, the payer models, how much a patient pays out of pocket. We did two really important things with Dash. One, we eliminated the out of pocket upfront cost for a patient. So historically patients who want an insulin pump pay a very large amount of money to start on that pump. Sometimes this is four, five, six thousand dollars out of pocket. So it's a tremendous barrier to entry into that marketplace. But then they're also locked in for four years to that pump that they chose. So remember the cell phone industry when you used to have to choose a carrier and a phone and you would get locked in, you couldn't change, you couldn't take your phone number with you. It did not allow patients choice. And so what we're doing with Dash is we're actually reinventing that whole model. There will be nothing up front. There'll be no lockdown period. And it's a model that we, we call the pay as you go model that's, that's important. It's really beneficial to patients, but payers love it as well. Because if you think about starting on insulin pump and a payer that reimburses for this very large sum of money up front, some of those patients will stop using the pump. And so the payer is out for all of those outcomes that would have been gained from that patient. So we're eliminating that, pay, that upfront fee, eliminating that lock-in period, and it becomes a true pay as you go model and it's fantastic for both patients and payers. Yeah, so if you think about um, what a type one patient goes through every single day. Diabetes really dominates their life and it becomes a burden. We call this the burden of diabetes. And our goal is to minimize this burden. So everything they do, sleeping, stress, exercise, every carb that they ingest does something to their blood sugar. So they're constantly count carb counting, they're constantly assessing their BG levels, and then they're making those adjustments with insulin. And patients who don't have technology, historically have given themselves six, seven injections a day. So imagine pricking your finger throughout the day to understand what your BG levels are, and then giving yourself six, seven shots a day. It is very burdensome. So what Omnipod does is it allows for a, a single, um, patch pump that you, you wear in different parts of your body and delivers three days of nonstop insulin. Uh, a patient will bolus their, their Omnipod from a lockdown smartphone device. And so it, it really does simplify the life of these patients. It allows for them to have discretion. Right? You're in a meeting, you, you take out a smartphone, you give yourself a bolus from the, the cookie that you just ate, and you go back to, to work. So it's a tremendous um, improvement in lifestyle and something that we're always conscious of. So I talked about Dash and, and the introduction of the Bluetooth technology to Dash. That will enable us to build a platform for Horizon. So Horizon is, will be our next product that will come out. Uh, the end of the second half of, of 2020 is what we've said. But the difference between Horizon and Dash is that Horizon will be our first AID system and AID is an acronym for automated insulin delivery. It, what it means is that Omnipod, which is worn on the body, will be communicating with a CGM, which is a continuous glucose monitor. Those two will be talking and they will be adjusting insulin levels automatically. So today patients set a basal rate and then they adjust for meals by typing in a, a bolus. Um, 
this AID system will do that automatically. Patients will still announce meals, but the basal rates will adjust based off of what the BG levels are doing within the patient. So it's going to be fantastic. Um, it's going to be probably the best form factor of an AID system on the marketplace because it will really try to eliminate one of those key components. So there, there's, a, there's a pod, there's a CGM, there's an algorithm and a controller. And with Horizon, we plan on making the controller a user's phone. So it'll be controlled from a user's phone. The CGM and the pod talk to each other and the patient is always getting their insulin adjusted. We think it'll be a best in class product when it's launched. Yeah, we're really excited about our recent relocation. So it's not just a manufacturing facility. It is our new corporate headquarters based out of Acton, Massachusetts. It's a tremendous facility. Uh, the significance of the manufacturing here in the USA is, is twofold. Really, one, we want redundancy. So Omnipod today is, is manufactured overseas. Uh, this creates a redundancy, so we get additional capacity, we get additional security because it's something that we always have to be ready to supply our patients with. Once a patient gets on Omnipod, we make a commitment to them to supply them with product for their entire life. And so uh, redundancy and capacity is very, very important to us. But the other thing that we, we've got from manufacturing and acting is, you know, we are going to have a, uh, a better cost system. It's more automated. Quality is extremely important. So a patient that changes their Omnipod out every single three days has to work every single time. So we get additional quality, we get um, cost efficiencies, and we get redundancy in that manufacturing facility.